And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the blue. T I'm red. That is a red color right there. That is a red Terran. He is in the west. That is me. Up against Lost. He is the blue Protoss in the north. I, of course, was a big fan of Lost until about the last season when I realized they didn't have any answers to give me after making me ask all those questions that they forced me to ask. I don't care what you say, they forced you to ask those questions. They even asked the questions themselves in the teasers, and then they had no answers for them. So, of course, I want to destroy Lost like nobody's business. I now hate it because of what it did to me. Probe uh, chilling out, uh, trying to figure out a great location for the pylon. That is where he decided, and that is a relatively good spot. Meanwhile, I am getting a supply depot. My SUV cannot run away uh, from the building once it has started like his probe can. I am envious of that probe. But once the supply depot is up, I send the SUV out, and I notice, hey, this guy came in fast, uh, so I... Well, I, I had already set the Zalnaga Tower on Q and then into his base, uh, but I assumed that if I, I did not come across him here, then he was definitely in the lower uh, part of the map, uh, the 6 o'clock position, the south position, whatever you want to call it. And here, I assume that he's going to be going for a harass, so I automatically get one SUV off the line to try to take out that probe. He does some great micro with it and is able to save that probe. Meanwhile, I'm exploring his base. I do see the gateway coming up, as well as the refinery, uh, or the assimilator, sorry. Uh, Protoss players use assimilators. They do not use refineries. Um, as I'm starting to run this SCV away, uh, the probe starts chasing it back. Uh, so I wasn't even able to scare this uh, probe out of my base, and he goes right through the mineral line, so I go and take him out. Uh, Way too many SCVs used for that, but it gets the job done. Cybernetics Corps on the way, so we should be seeing a quick stalker rush. Am I going to be able to see that in time? The S my SCV inside his base is now under attack, so I'm starting to run it away. Uh, nothing coming out of the gateway yet. That is surprising, uh, but I should be able to see that Cybernetics Core, and I should be able to realize what is going on. He is going to be going for Mass Stalkers. If you see that build uh, from one gateway into a Cybernetics Core with nothing coming out of the gateway yet, you can always tell when it's being used, um, even though you won't be able to tell what's coming out of it. That means he's going for stalkers, and that is what he's going for. But he is supply locked, so it will be a little late, later than he wanted, at least. Um, meanwhile, I am able to get two marines out. These these guys are awesome right there. Um, but really, he's still able to take a big lead in the in the harvester count. I was very slow when it came to that, actually. Um, you know, I'm, I'm behind. I'm so behind in my opener here. It was just terrible. Um, I should have at least two more SCVs than I have out now. But the micro uh, that the, the probe caused me to do really did cost me in terms of the SCV. So a uh, game after I tell you uh, to know your own limits, I try to exceed mine by microing that probe uh, to death. So Tech Lab going on my second barracks third barracks is on the way and good lord for gate is on the way he is chrono boosting those stalkers um, warp gate technology has completed uh, he did save up uh, the energy on the nexus for that and there we go start morphing those guys in and they are hanging out here at a proxy pylon oh how much I hate proxy pylons so what do you do to counter stalkers? Really, there's not much you can do besides what I'm doing now, which is Marines and Marauders. But one thing I could do is have these guys up here so that they could attack these guys and not wait for them all to come in. So in come six stalkers. I'm not able to get any pot shots off on them, so the high ground advantage does nothing for me, and I have not been producing well and therefore everybody dies. That's the bottom line. Uh, three stalkers still in the base. Um, two uh, still alive now, but now a couple zealots and a stalker in. And 
that is the game for me. So really, it's just a matter of bad openings uh, is what's going to kill you. A lack of scouting. I should have kept the SCV in for longer than I did. I allowed him to come in and scout longer than I should have allowed. And really, uh, the, the game's already over. It's just a matter of time. Of course, he's going to be able to get more... Um, more reinforcements in. Really, there's no home field advantage anymore, and I am forced to GG. So that was a quick game, but an important one because I was unable uh, to keep a, a, a good opener going from me. I mean, look, I, I, I'm still so far behind. No, I, I was able to catch up because he stopped producing probes in order to get uh, those stalkers out as soon as possible. So this wasn't all in for him. If I was able to survive this, I would probably have been able to catch up and overtake him, but I just wasn't able to get these guys out soon enough. Horrible positioning. You need to remember to put the guys up here. Up here. Up here. Even if they can't see all the way across the map, um, you'll be able to see them when they come up here. Um, which is just as good as keeping them here. So always keep your guys up here. That might have won the game for me if I had microed them correctly, gotten some pot shots off. It would have scared him off with these stalkers, possibly, and I would have been able to come back in the game. So a bad opener for me, lack of knowledge of the terrain, and being able to use it is what lost the game for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.